Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about top feeders, uh, why I chose the top feeder that I did and how to build, how I am building a top feeder box for mine. A top feeder box is just something that sits up on top of the beehive where you can put your top feeder in there. This is the top feeder that I chose to use. It is easy, it is simple. You take the lid off the beehive, it's sitting right there on top. You pull the lid off, you put whatever feed you want in there, put the lid back on it, put the lid back on the hive, and you're done. It's just that simple. Now last year I tried using a frame feeder. This is a frame feeder. I did not like it uh, because you have to get into the hive body every time you have to feed. Every time you have to feed, you have to open up the beehive. And there are just some days where I don't have 30 to 45 minutes to an hour to open up a beehive just to put feed on the bees. Uh, so, and every time you did it, you had to suit up, get your smoker lit, all that kind of stuff. This, I can come out here, have them both fed, both my hives fed, and be back on the road in 10 minutes. Never even break a suit out because all you do is pull the top box off, pull the lid off this, and pour it in there. That's the reason I chose a top feeder over a hive feeder. Now you need to, you can decide which one's best for you. Top feeder's best for me. Hive feeder, no thank you. The top feeder, a little plastic piece in it. I bought this top feeder off of Amazon, a two pack for like $15. It's cheap. It's, it's just that easy. You pour your sugar water, uh, I think you can even, uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure you can dry feed in there if you want to put pollen in there and, uh, and feed the bees pollen out of it. I think you could probably even do that too. And the lid goes right on top of it and the bees can't get out. I'll open this up and there'll be bees in there that's been in there. They'll be the sugar that's left over from the sugar water. This thing is fantastic. I love it. I recommend it, but do your own research figure it out this is just what I do now one thing about this this feeder that little part right there sticks out the bottom so you have to cut a hole in your top board to get it to work all I did was take my top board put a unit bit in there just swallow it out a big old hole and this just sits right on top of it just like that just flush with the lid that's it it's that easy I've seen people be like well I don't know how that works because it won't fit in my hole this right here just waller it out it sits over the top of it and seals the holes up hole up in the top and the bees can't get up in your top feed box uh, now the feed box that I'm making you can also use a honey super I don't want to use up a honey super equipment's not ex equipment's not cheap and I don't want to have to use a honey super to uh, do this I'm making a cheap little box just like this to sit right on top of the beehive now one thing you have to remember when you're doing this is that is that hole in the top right there that is your main ventilation for your hive so when you take that feeder and put it in that hole you're taking away from your bees ventilation so you have to fix that so when you're making your hive body I mean your your frame feeder Drill some holes in the side. I use some geo cloth, it's like the flower bed stuff cloth that goes under the flower beds that's there for 20 years when you get ready to take that flower bed out. I just use some of that, glued it on there with the fabric glue that my wife uses. Uh, well, it's not really fabric glue. She uses it to, uh, to uh, sew uh, hardware onto her bags and stuff that she makes. So it's gotta be pretty durable. Just, I need to get it back home before she misses it. Anyway. So, uh, but this is how I did it. I just built this. Let me show you what I did. How it goes together. Um, need to measure your hive. I don't know if hives are always the same exact width, dimensions, height. I don't know whether it depends on manufacturer, but my two front, my front and my backboard are 16 and a quarter. This one and this one are 16 and a quarter. And you take the width of this and the width of the, yeah, the, the width of this, the width of this, 
thickness, width, whatever you want to call it, thickness of this one, thickness of this one, and subtract it from the length of your beehive. And on mine, came up to 18 and an eighth. 18 and an eighth. 18 and an eighth that way. And 16 and a quarter that way. Now, since it's just a metal, I mean a uh, wooden frame, what I did at that point is I didn't want it to be wobbly every time I picked it up, every time I had to pull it off the hive. So I made a couple of little triangles to go in the corners just to give it a little bit of strength. That's it. It's just that simple. It is that easy. Four little holes. Now, I didn't even, from what I understand, now I have not seen this, I haven't experienced it yet, but from what I understand, if you make the ventilation holes too big for the bees, and they don't, and they're getting too much ventilation, they'll propolis it. They'll close it up as much as they want to, wherever they feel like they need it, wherever, however much ventilation they need. So making this hole, I just had a bit that big. That's it. Uh, I think you could use any size bit you want, you know, within reason. So um, I had, I left my unibit, my big unibit, the one that's this big around at the house, and that's the only reason I didn't use that one. So. I don't even know what size hole it is. I'm not even going to go look because it doesn't matter as long as you've got a pretty good size hole in there and cover it with something because you don't want bees getting in your top box. Because if they get in this top box, you'll have all kinds of wonky comb going on in here. Your feeder will be all covered up with, with comb and everything. So you need to keep your bees out of here. On the top cover, the one I've already done is already on a hive over there. Uh, all I did is poke a hole here, hole here, hole there hole there and uh, covered it with the same mesh that's on top gotta remember this is your ventilation once you put a top feeder in there that ventilation's gone now they do sell top feeders that already are in boxes they're like four gallon top feeders uh, this one is like a quarter uh, I mean a quart a quarter a quart top feeder uh, so I can fit a quart in there the bees go through it in a week I put another quart in there when I come out here on the weekends that easy um, that's all there is to it. Now, how's it fit on the hive? All right, so this is your hive body. Say this is the top of the box. You might have a honey super on top. I don't know, uh, but this is going to be the top of the hive. Take this board with the four ventilation holes in it uh, and put it on the top. Top feeder sits on there just like that. This board, this feeder box sits on there just like that. And then your lid, your telescoping lid sits on here just like that. It's just truly that easy. One thing I will recommend, I've seen other people using different uh, kind of lids. Um, this is a telescoping lid, so it overlaps the top of the hive by about that much uh, when it's on there. Um, so I would recommend that if you're not using one of these, I've seen people using the, uh, the flat tops with no lip on it. I would recommend that if you're doing that, if you're using one of those, that you put a little bit of something over the top of that hole, whether it's a little piece of metal flashing, a little bitty piece of wood, something. So when water's running down the hive, it doesn't get in that get in the hole, the ventilation hole, the only recommendation. So that's how I do it. That's how I did it. Uh, I can't say that's how I do it because this is the first one I ever did. Now don't do like me. My first one I did when I was making this one, the first one I did I actually took my measurements off the bottom board. Now we know that the bottom board is what? About an inch and a half longer than the, than the actual uh, hive itself. Right, because it's got the landing. So when I got over there to put it on the hive, I was like, oh, come on. So I had to come over here and adjust the measurements on it. Wasn't that big of a deal, other than the fact that it just aggravated me. So that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is a simple way to do it. Very inexpensive way to do it. I think I've got $10 in this box right now. So cheap, inexpensive, but you can buy these online. People do make these. Uh, so you can, if you don't have the, the tools or the means to do it, uh, then um, you can buy one. Anyway, all right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all on the next one.